Well, hey guys, um, I've uh, recently started putting uh, gradients into the text that I do for my uh, YouTube thumbnails, and I think it looks a lot nicer than just a solid block of text. You can see the same effect here. But I was trying to find a quick way of doing it, um, and I had a look at some of the videos online, and there were various methods, but they all seemed a little bit long winded. Uh, but I actually found quite a quick way of uh, doing it. Um, all you need to do is make sure your text is on a separate layer to everything else, which if uh, uh, most people workflow uh, works like that. So I'm just going to create a, a brand new layer here and then uh, move it to the top so we can see it properly. And then I'll just write some um, some, some text here in a very bright colour. It doesn't have to be bright colour but it needs to be a, a distinctive colour. So I'm just going to use this um, very very bright green here and I'll call it my test, my text, um, like that. And then uh, we can we can just click off and, we, and we've got our text. And that, now what you do is you go to the the magic wand tool. Now you might be thinking with the magic wand, uh, well hang on a minute, that's only going to select um, one letter. And if I click on here, for example, um, it selects the T, and then it selects the X. And if every time I click on, um, it selects just the next letter. Now you could hold down Control and it or do each letter together like that, but that that takes quite a while and that's a, that's a bit of a pain. But here's the tricky thing: go up to here where it says flood mode and change it from conjugus, if I pronounce that correctly, um, to global. And now what that's going to do is when you select the magic wand this time, it's going to select anything that's this color on this whole layer. And because the only thing on this layer is um, the text, that's going to select the whole lot. Now when you've selected the whole lot, you can then click to the gradient tool, um, select your the two colors you wish to do a gradient with. So let's go for uh, purple and white, and then drag your um, little gradient across like you would on a normal um, text like that. And here's a, oh, sorry, I undid what I just did there. And then press enter a couple of times to store it. And there you go, you've got a gradient on your text. Now one last trick before we go, because sometimes you end up with text here where it says like synthic stats here, or um, on this one where we've got Leighton Brothers Mystery Room, you'll see that the gradient uh, doubles up. Um, you see it's going from yellow to orange there and then yellow to orange there. Now you could do that by making it putting it on two different layers um, but there's a slightly easier way. Again I'll correct, I'll, uh, I'll create a brand new layer and I'll go to the text and again it, I'll just show you it works with any kind of any color. Um, I'll just put some text on the top of this so let, let's call this um, double um, line um, to show you how how this is going to work, um, but what I tend to do, by the way, is I put tend to put an outline on mine as well because um, I think it helps the text look slightly nicer. That's not part of this tutorial, but just uh, just as an aside. And then I'm going to use the same technique again, magic wand. Make sure the magic wand is um, set to global, and I'm going to click here, and you'll see that it's selected the whole lot. And if I put the gradient um, over the whole lot, so let's go from white to pink. If I do it like this, you can see the gradient goes over both pieces of text, which in some cases will be what you want, and in other cases it won't be what you want. But assuming that it isn't what you want, um, the easy way to do it is then go to the other the rectangle select mode, and then if you hold down the minus key, you can then minus remove something from that selection. So if I remove the word line there from my selection like that, I've then just got the top, and uh, whoops, and I can then just put the gradient on that top line like that and of course if they were like four or five words here then it all looks they're on the same line that would work and then I just do the same thing again with the bottom line click to select it then click to the uh, rectangle select hold down alt which is the minus and deselect the very top one and then just add that gradient again um, over the bottom really nice quite simple pretty speedy and a really nice uh, tool to make your video thumbnails or in fact you know any anything that you're doing in paint.net um, look good um, if you found this tip useful then do hit the like button and um, do subscribe for lots of tutorials let's plays mod videos and whatever's um, for me the adipose I'll see you soon bye bye